So I was 11 years old, and I was ready to put my plan into action. By the way, I'm Matt McElhenney, and this is my first time. So it was the summer of 2006, and I was 11 years old. I was doing a summer program up at Phillips Exeter Academy in Exeter, New Hampshire, and there were a lot of kids and students from around the world and uh, from the U.S. So I was about that age where, you know, I was starting to like girls. And uh, this one girl named Emily, she's a little taller than me, uh, blonde, green eyes. And, uh, you know, I really, really found her attractive. So I decided, you know, just two weeks into the program, I, I knew people. And I figured, what the hell? So I asked her out on a date. We went to a restaurant with some other friends. And that was, we had, we had a good time. And a week after that, I decided, okay, I think I'm ready. I was really nervous, and I decided also that, you know, I'd seen the movies, and guys always get girls something. So I went down to the jewelry store with all my money and bought this bracelet. I had it wrapped up and, uh, you know, waited a few days, and then finally my friend Stephanie, you know, gave me the push. And it was about 80-something degrees out, not too hot, uh, but I was really hot. I could feel all the heat radiating off of the ground and all around me. You know, I was nervous, everything felt really heavy. And I went up to her on a sidewalk, very bright, and I asked her, and she said no. So I was crushed and uh, very, very upset, of course. You know, I was bawling, it was, it was the first time that it ever happened, heartbroken. But I learned, I grew up, and the moral of my story is just save bracelets for Christmas. <laughs>